Okay, so this is the long-awaited um, follow-up that so many people have requested, is uh, styling the markdown block, styling the text um, in your FAQ drop-down. So I finally got around to recording it. I'm really sorry about how long it's taken, um, and it'll probably take me even longer to edit it and get it uploaded, um, if I'm honest. So I'm going to apologise now in advance, because I know that that's probably going to happen. Uh, I've got so up here the FAQ exactly as shown in the last video. I followed my own instructions, I copy and pasted from my own PDF. So this is exactly how yours should look. Um, I've only put three questions in and I've used a bit of dummy text and that's here at the minute that's got the styling of the FAQs on my own website. So all you need to do if you want to make this a little bit nicer, maybe you want to change the text style, maybe you want the text to be bold, uh, a lot of people have asked about having uh, the lines put in here, uh, maybe you want to use a different font for your FAQ than you use um, in any other part of your website, and it's really easy, all you need to do is target your text styles the same way that you would on any other part of your website, but you want to make sure that you're targeting just the markdown block, just the FAQ. So there's two ways of doing this. One way is by using the block ID, which is more useful if you've got more than one markdown block um, or you've got different FAQs throughout your site that you maybe want to be different. I'm going to do a video on how to find the block ID that will probably get recorded later today or later this week, so it shouldn't be very long before that's up. But if you've just got the one markdown block or you could have more than one markdown block, but they're all for FAQs and they're all, um, you're wanting them all to look the same, then it's pretty easy. You can do it just like this. You're going to put dot SQS hyphen block hyphen markdown. So that targets the markdown block. And then you're going to put in H3. So this is my H3, my third heading that I've got used here as the questions in my FAQ. So I'm going to target H3 and this won't affect any other H3s that I've got anywhere else on my website. It will only do the ones that are in the markdown block because I've identified that here. So I've got H3 and in brackets, let's do the, um, let's do the border first. That's the one that most people were asking about. So border, and do two pixels, um, solid, and I'm going to put it in navy work. Yes, it's doing navy. Okay, so I've just typed in the color there because it's a little bit easier. But if you wanted to put in a hex code, you could do that. Um, you might want to put in, um, just put in black there. But whatever your hex code is, put that in instead of the color. I'm going to put in navy. Oh, that's better. And you might just want the bottom line. You probably don't want a box quite like this. Uh, so it can be border bottom and it will just put the lines on the bottom. If you wanted it on the bottom and the top, then you could repeat this. So exactly the same. Only now I'm going to change that to border top. So I've got both. So that looks quite nice, that's not too bad. Um, it looks a little bit squished to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some padding now to my H3. Make sure you've always got your semicolon in between each line of CSS. And I'm gonna add padding. Let's go with just five pixels first of all. And as you can see, that's spaced it out. That's made the padding around my H3 text a little bigger. Um, might wanna make that, let's go see what 10 looks like. 10, mm, that's not too bad, okay. So I've got 10 pixels of padding. That to me looks pretty nice. I probably wouldn't do much else, but I'll just show you a couple of other things that you might want to do. Uh, you could give uh, your question a background. So again, I'm just gonna type in a color, but you can use a hex code. Red. So I've put in red here. Obviously that's not the color I would actually go for. That doesn't look nice at all, but it's really clear for you to be able to see. Um, or what you could do, I'm going to take that off because it's hurting my eyes a little bit. If you wanted to um, focus on the text of the answers, that's pretty easy as well. We can go to P, 
again I'm going to open up my brackets I'm going to do this again just to make this really clear for you and perhaps I would like the colour of the text in my answers not to be black maybe I'd like that to be pink maybe I would like to use a different font actually than I normally have for my uh, paragraph text in the rest of my site uh, let's see we could go something really obvious so you'll be able to see the difference uh, Korea you can see it's changed there um, maybe I'll make it a different size as well let's make that a font size of 20 pixels See, it's getting bigger and mm, I'm going to put it in caps as well text transform capitalize Oh, so sorry, capitalize puts um, the start of every word in a capital letter. And if, unlike me, um, you use American English, if you use British English, you make sure you're putting a Z in capitalize. I think I've said this in one of my other videos that that's probably my biggest issue with CSS is that when I'm typing color, I want to put a U in it. CSS uses American English. And before now, I've written lines and lines and lines and lines and not been able to work out what's going wrong and that's been my issue I've been spelling everything um, in a British way so again capitalize puts the first word in a capital uppercase makes everything capital lowercase everything in lowercase so you might think that this looks ridiculous it's probably <laughs> not uh, very aesthetically pleasing but I hope that I've shown you a few different ways that you could change the text in your FAQ you can change the layout and um, you could put a background on your uh, paragraph text on your answers as well um, let's see let's go with green this time um, and you could pad that out too if there's anything else you'd like to see uh, either with the FAQs, with CSS, with Squarespace, leave a comment below or you can send me an email um, and I will try and get better at doing these videos. Uh, I promise I'm going to start scheduling time in to record them, get some more uploaded um, and get some more edited. I hope that's answered all of your questions. I hope that means that you can get your FAQs looking exactly how you want them now. And yep, yeah, thanks for watching guys.